Hey everybody, Chris at A to B here. <clears throat> well, we're off the Cadillac now, we got that done, so now we're on to another cool project. Um, show you what we're doing here for a customer. Got a 69 Dodge pickup truck. See, we got the steering column and stuff out of it. I'm going to try to convert this truck electric power steering using Prius components. So, um, let me shut this noisy garage door here so we don't end up with neighbors coming in while we're here after hours. So, got yeah, over here. I've already got the column out of the truck. And I already have the column from the truck tore down and I have the column from the Prius broke down to just the gearbox section. So anyway, move some of this stuff. What we are going to try to do, and it doesn't look like I'm gonna need very many custom parts. So my thought process is here, we're gonna use this tube but I had a bushing made that is a tight press, it's a press fit to the inside diameter there. The inside diameter of this bushing is just a hair smaller than this tube. So that'll, I'll heat this, I'll heat this bushing. I'll drop it first. I'll heat this bushing and that'll allow it to slide down over here about to this area and once it cools down, it will be shrunk fit on to this tube. So then I will also tack weld it in a couple places. But first I need to drill and tap a bolt hole in either side of this bushing. It's made out of steel. It's not bronze or anything like that. It's heavy steel. I want to drill and tap a hole on each side. So when I slide it, up inside the column i can figure out where i need to drill bolt holes in the column and then i can bolt this column tube solid to this piece so once we will do that these prius columns break down real nice so this was originally the upper steering shaft there was a piece up here on this end that came out about a little bit farther than that that actually had the splines for the steering wheel on it so when you knock off the collapsible portion of the column, this shaft comes out and it's a real, it's a tight interference fit on the splines there. So what we will do, so once I get this, get the bushing put on this, get my holes drilled in the bushing, get the bushing put on this, get the column cut down, then I will figure out how long our original Dodge steering shaft where the steering wheel goes on up here. I'll figure out how much of this will need and cut this shaft and then we will weld we're gonna have the shaft welded up. Sorry I keep getting my fingers in the camera. I'm left-handed. So we'll have this shaft welded up and turned back down so it matches the inside diameter of this splined sleeve. So then we can press the shaft into the sleeve, drill it, pin it, and weld it for safety. On the bottom side of the column, what we are going to do, I got a Borgeson three-quarter smooth bore to 11 16 by 36 spline adapter. So this is splined on that side, smooth bore, smooth three quarter inch bore on that side. So what this does, this will slide up onto this, to the output shaft of the box, and then whatever rest of this shaft we don't need, we'll figure out what our length from the steering column, once the steering column's mounted in the truck, I'll figure out what my length needs to be, and then we'll use a small portion of the shaft down here, which is three quarter inch right here. We will put that through there and most likely pin it and weld it also. So that'll provide our connection down here. So really, 
I should be able to do this with only two special parts. This piece that I had made at a local machine shop and this piece. So anyway, we're gonna figure out where the column needs to be cut. Kind of running by guesswork. So I held the, the gearbox up in the truck so I would know where it wanted to be. So I want the bottom of the box to end up right about there, but the column won't come down that far. So I'm gonna have to cut from my mark here where I want the end of this box to be, I'm gonna have to cut an inch and a half this way. So that way the column tube just comes down to this area. So anyway, let me uh, do some more measuring, but I'll put you on the stand here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna measure up an inch and a half from that mark that I made. I'm just gonna put us right about there. And we're gonna get out the chop saw. Speaking of which, this chop saw, if you ever have a chance, these Evolution chop saws with this blade, this multi, multi-material blade, these things are awesome. They will cut whatever you need it to do. Um, every piece of metal that was cut for the flatbed on the Willys truck was cut with this tool. It's what I originally bought it for, so. <clears throat> Here goes nothing. We're either going to make a usable column or we're going to waste the Dodge column. But we're learning. Makes a super nice, clean, straight cut. I want to deburr it with the whiz wheel here. I think I forgot to turn the air compressor on. All right. So, end up with it fairly smooth. I don't know that I want to rub it real hard, but it's not cutting my fingers now. But I got a heck of a lot of calluses too. So, this is where our bushing comes into play because our bushing fits. Yeah, it's a nice drop fit in there. So, that's a nice 
nice fit in there. So. Step number two will be to get over here to the vise. center punch and drill bit. All right, so I know I should really be using a drill press to do this, but I do not have a drill press set up here at the shop. So we are just gonna eyeball this at center. And we'll center punch it like so. And then we will try to drill it as straight as we can. I'm probably going to have to find a better drill bit. I bought a really expensive set of Mac drill bits, so I'd always have sharp drill bits. And then my Mac dealer went out of business. Okay, we finally got something going here. Use the top hole we just made as a guide hole for the other side. I know all my machinists out there are probably throwing a fit right now, but I'm not a machinist, nor do I play one on TV. So I'm doing the best I can with what I've got. Oh, 
Well, I'm going to finish these holes up and I'll bring you back when we tap them. All right. I got through the other side, so let's go ahead and blow the chips out. I'm going to tap these for 8 millimeter by 1.25 threads. Yes, I know, metric threads on an old vehicle, but they are i've got the perfect bolts to do this but they are metric so that is what we are going to use to do this through that side. back the edges of that bolt hole run our tap down through it one more time I'm gonna go grab one of the bolts I'm gonna use make sure it fits Now these bolts aren't going to really be doing much but holding everything in line. I'm going to have to build a bracket to support the motor. And that's what we want. So I wanted to use the bolt metric bolts because I already had these little stubbies that would work perfectly. to deburg that hole on the inside a little bit but we'll go ahead and do the other side
We'll get that one all the way through. for that hole. Run or tap through it one more time. There's that part. Let me go. Let me go get a half round file. Oh, we need to check it with our bolt. Yep, works just fine. So, let me get a half round file and divert the inside of the holes. So we ended up with threaded hole in both sides. I know it's not the straightest, but it's hard to drill round stock and not end up crooked, especially when you don't have a drill press. So that's on the list of things this shop needs, but we'll get there eventually. Okay, now we're gonna attempt to heat this. With the torch and grab it with pliers and slide it down over so the plan is grab it like that and slide it down over while it's hot I wish I had a rosebud tip, but I don't have one of those either.
Trying to get it where it takes on a nice straw color. Should be able to tap the rest of the way down. Or maybe not. Well, we might have to back up and punt on this one. Okay, I rigged it up with my induction heater. And see if this does us any better. In hot. It's hot enough it started the two by four on fire in the middle. Just a little bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> 